Hi everyone, my name's Mitch and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, first of all, I would like to um, give you a brief introduction to the video which is going to follow uh, my little speech. Um, I'm going to try and keep my speech uh, fairly short, but I think it's something important I need to say to you all. Um, so the video uh, that we sh that we uh, shot uh, was taken a couple of months before the September War began. We accompanied a friend of ours uh, to a um, a new uh, restaurant that is um, currently being built. It's quite a unique one, actually. It's outside of Etchmedzin. Uh, I can say um, it would be south of Etchmedzin, uh, towards the um, towards the uh, Turkish border. And um, so it's a it's basically a fish farm, and uh, it's fashioned in a rectangular um, layout, where little um, uh, cabins uh, uh, surround the fish the fish ponds, uh, and also at the far end of the fish pond there is like a little. Uh, uh, a kind of like a little zoo of sorts with uh, some beautiful birds and animals there, mostly birds. Um, so I hope you enjoy that video. Uh, it's going to be the last one uh, of the videos that I actually made before the war and afterwards I'm hoping, uh, from now on I'm hoping to uh, go back out into the uh, countryside and villages and places around Yerevan and bring you um, um, some more interesting uh, videos of life in Armenia, which I hope uh, you will enjoy. For, of course, from my perspective, which if you didn't know, uh, I'm an Australian uh, guy married to an Armenian wife. We came to live uh, here in Yerevan uh, nearly seven years ago now and we can honestly say we have not regretted that one little bit. So um, <clears throat> now uh, I would just like to make some brief comment on uh, the current situation in Armenia as I see it. I try not to be political. Um, I'm a faith-based person. Uh, what I mean by that is I uh, I'm a man of faith. I'm not somebody special. I certainly don't see myself as a worthy uh, man by any means. I've made my mistakes in life, as we all have, but I now uh, live my life, Sonia and I live our lives according to our uh, <clears throat> Armenian apostolic faith. And by that, I mean we try to put our faith into practice as best we possibly can. Um, so, to the current situation here, I find the, the Armenian attitude towards Nikol Pashinyan's signing of this um, trilateral agreement somewhat um, unsettling. Uh, in that, uh, I would say the majority of uh, Armenians uh, uh, were certainly on the side of Nikol Pashinyan during the Velvet Revolution and saw, uh, saw him as a kind of saviour, um, for want of a better word, for um, Armenia. Uh, I, I use that word um, uh, somewhat um, reservedly because our Saviour is Jesus Christ. Uh, that is, uh, he is who uh, our faith, our Christian faith here in Armenia is based on. His life, his work, his teachings, who he is, the Son of God. Nikol Pashinyan is not the Son of God. He is not our Saviour. 
but I believe uh, with all my heart that he's a good man who has tried and is trying his best to help Armenia, to revitalise Armenia, to bring her back to life after 30 years of corruption and, of course, the former Soviet Union days. So where are we now? It seems that there is a rising tide of resentment towards Nicole for signing this uh, document. I'm not going to enter into that other than I think uh, the Russian presence in Artsakh is a calming one, is a um, reassuring presence. Nobody wants to see Artsakh go to the Azeris. Nobody. No Armenian wants to see that. Uh, but can I please ask you all, what was his alternative? What was his alternative to signing this agreement? Ah. 25 or 30,000 of our troops would have been slaughtered and most probably um, all of Artsakh would be taken and th therefore in the control of the enemy. It's a bad enough situation as it is rather than uh, to have to fight internally against one another uh, this is not our Christian faith, my brothers and sisters, my Armenian brothers and sisters. This is kind of an evil. It is an evil, I believe, to now fight against him, to say all kinds of evil against him falsely, in my opinion. He's made his mistakes. He admits them. Did the former government ever do that, my friends? Did they? Did they ever admit their mistakes? Uh, most probably not. He's trying his best to make reforms within his government, but to, to now listen to so many people crying out for his um, uh, resignation, uh, believing that their parties can somehow reverse the situation or do a much better job than what he's done, I find quite disturbing and it's certainly happening at the wrong time in Armenia's history. Now we need to get behind each other, we need to support each other, we need to do our best to help those um, um, parents who've lost their sons in the war, uh, wives who've lost their husbands and children who've lost their fathers. This is what we need to be doing now. We need to be rallying behind one another. We have to be showing our love to one another, not this hatred for somebody who doesn't agree with our point of view. I'm sorry I have to say all of those things, but in a way, they I believe they have to be said. You're hearing it from a man who's come from... Uh, a country that hasn't known really what war is, at least on our shores, except uh, uh, for a brief period in the Second World War, I think, uh, where Darwin was uh, bombed by the Japanese. But um, other than that, we've we've not known what this war, what war is about, other than to go and fight in different lands like Vietnam and Afghanistan and places like that. I know of your I know of your anguish but now is the time we have to really and truly trust God we have to look deep within ourselves and ask ourselves a question are we people of faith or are we people who just uh, listen to gossip uh, listen to uh, every new idea that comes out on Facebook uh, and uh, follow uh, uh, somebody's idea of what they believe should have been done in Artsakh. Uh, no, no, we are people of faith. So please, uh, my brothers and sisters, search within your hearts. Ask yourselves the questions. Uh, am I really a person of faith? Do I really know the basis of Christianity? 
Uh, it's not enough to say that we live in a Christian country uh, or that we were the first Christian nation. I'm, I've said to a lot of people, what does that really mean? Uh, it's no good looking 1,700 years ago. We have to look now. We're in 2020. And uh, are, we are we true to our Christian faith and principles or are we being hypocritical? when we get on Facebook and we say all kinds of evil against people from uh, Azerbaijan, calling them all sorts of evil names. Is, is, is this Christianity? I will go to my grave saying, no, this is not Christianity, my friends. I, it's one thing to disagree with what they did. It's one thing to... Uh, hate the evil which was committed by them. But it's another thing to go on personal attacks against uh, people who don't know who God is. They don't know the Christian God. So with that, uh, I certainly said more than I wanted to, but I hope and pray uh, that Armenia can have a bright peaceful um, future and that I, I, I can feel confident in inviting people over from different countries who've got no connections with Armenia. For example, one uh, American friend of mine <clears throat> who I met through my YouTube channel, he wants to bring his family over to Armenia and live here. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Because he sees Armenia as a kind of a kind of haven for for him and his family, which he can't find in uh, America. We would want to welcome him here, wouldn't we? We would want to embrace him and his family, wouldn't we? Isn't that who uh, Armenians truly are in their souls? I know who you are. I know who we are. We are people of love and friendship and hospitality and faith. If we don't have faith, uh, really all of these things, like I just mentioned, are superficial. So with that, uh, I want to uh, now go and show you some of uh, the footage we took a couple of months before the uh, uh, Artsakh war. And I hope you enjoy uh, what you see. It's just uh, uh, what I think is um, it's the it embodies the Armenian spirit. They they see an opportunity. Uh, they now have the freedom to be able to start a business without paying off some uh, oligarch. And uh, God bless them for that. Uh, <clears throat> and I wish their business of uh, all success in the future, their restaurant, are all success in the future. So here's a little look at uh, uh, some of the footage that we took. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> we had a um, special fish farm. Uh, somebody we know uh, operates this, or is a friend of the operator, I don't know which. And uh, he just said, come along and can do some filming of some of the bigger ones. This fish we can reach 25 kilos. Which one? This old fish. Oh, well, these are all sturgeon, yes? Yeah. Can, can reach 25 kilos. Don't fall in. We haven't got very big area to walk on here. No. That's a big one. Yeah, very really big. Is there, is there he have? Because this is all he made. Look. Look, Look how this is he made. Yeah? Yeah. This is all half the misses. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's... Okay. Sun. Mmm, it's very good. Yeah, it's very beautiful. This is like a restaurant, yes? Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be like their cabin. But look how beautiful mosaic on this stone. Yeah. Because Armenians is very good with stone. Beautiful. It's all two. Different colors of two. Uh-huh. Oh, look at this one. This this, this color of this one. This is like an albino one. Mm, so I think I discovered that this place is um, under construction. 
going to be a, a restaurant motel type thing in Korovats here. Armenians love their stonework. So these uh, different colour tuff. It's unusual to see them uh, in a pattern like this, but uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Oh, it's a big area. What sort of bird is this? Fazan. Huh? I, don't know. I don't know how in English I can tell you through. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at colors. Wow. This is beauty. Wow. Man, I tell you. This is Chinese uh, Chinese uh, chickens. <laughs> Look at this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a little chinchilla. Yeah. Look at him. Look at her. This is baby one. Look, he's so gorgeous. He's so cute. Aren't you gorgeous? Aren't you cute? Aren't you gorgeous? They they put in a cage in a purpose. They're living free. But in a cage because female and male. Mm. That's why now is season. That's why they put separate in separate, uh, you know, cage them to they can have babies. Hey, we have a guest here. A guest? We have guest here. Take it in color. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Mira. Quite a unique design. Look at this grey one. Look at this grey one. Look at this beautiful one. Aren't you gorgeous? <laughs> And we've got like an ostrich farm here too. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Five or six here. And these are the baby or smaller sturgeons in here, little juvenile ones. And these ones here are producing caviar. Look at this giant here. Wow. Look at the biggie. 